In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily and effectively get text messages off an iPhone for court or discovery purposes. So it, we are going to need a $40 piece of software to do this, um, but in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty affordable. You don't actually need to pay for the license if you're just trying to export to a text document or a CSV document. But the way we're going to do it, we're going to actually do it to PDF. It's going to come out looking just like a thread on an iPhone would look. So this example is going to require two pieces of software. One of them is iTunes from Mac, and the other one's a third-party software called iExplorer. If you're on a Windows PC, you are going to need to download the iTunes from the Microsoft Store. I already have it on this computer, so I'm just going to kind of show you guys. But there's no other way to get it. You can't um, download it on a, from a website or anything like that. It has to come from the Microsoft Store if you're on a Windows-based computer. Apparently, I have an update, so that's what it's doing right now. So I'm going to launch iTunes right now. Right now, it doesn't have a phone or anything plugged into it. I'm going to plug my phone into the computer using the standard charging cable. I really, really, really recommend that you use an Apple cable, so the one that came with the phone. Uh, the aftermarket charging cables are just plain and simply not as effective and as fast. So when you first plug in your phone, it's going to ask you to authorize it. So I just got a message on my phone that said, do you want to connect to this computer? I had to enter my passcode and say, yes, I do want to connect to this computer. And from there, Chris's iPhone shows up over here. You actually hit this little icon up here to bring you over to my about page. And we're going to do a full backup of this phone and it's going to take a little while. And I'll probably cut the video short here for a few minutes while it's actually doing it or speed it up. So we're back. The iPhone is done backing up. We can see that because it says latest backups today at 1.37 p.m. to this computer, so we know it worked. This is iBackup Viewer. You'll be presented with a screen that looks like this. It has your different backups. If you are not presented with this screen or it says no backups found, you need to click this little folder and open up additional backups. The Apple or the Windows Store version of iTunes is backing up to a little bit of a different place. It's backing up to this is my personal directory. So this says Jaber and Wilk. We go to Apple, Mobile Sync Backup, select that directory, um, and it should bring bring them up. I think because it already had them here, it's saying it's not a valid directory. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up my phone's backup. In this instance, you are probably not going to get a lot more information than exactly what we were looking for, the text messages. You can get call logs, but you have to do an encrypted backup. You can do the calendar and you can do recordings and stuff, but just remember that a lot of people's calendars and recordings and stuff aren't actually held on their phone. They're held on their exchange server. They're held on their Gmail. They're held on everything but their phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our little text messages here. I am going to scroll down until I find my mother-in-law. There she is. We can do searching up here, but what I would suggest is have a list of phone numbers. For some reason, it does not like to search by um, for some reason it does not like to search by the names and a lot of times your contacts aren't even your contacts because they are um, held on exchange or something like that so what we're going to do is we're going to export the current thread to PDF 
sometimes you'll get a little pop up the first time over here in this top bottom right that says, hey, your preferences aren't set to export um, pictures. So what we want to do, go to preferences, messages, and look at that PDF output settings. We're going to include images in the output. They're HEIC photos. They're WebP images. Okay. So we're going to export. And we're going to export the current thread to PDF. I am going to keep the default font of Courier. And I'm going to hit more options. I am going to say I want to show date for every message. Mine was already set that way. But this way, there isn't any debate about when it was set. We're going to hit save, and we're going to call this export to. So right now, it's going to take a few minutes. It's going to take a few minutes because it has pictures and a bunch of other things. And we'll talk about a few other things while it is exporting. First and foremost, I downloaded the iBackup Viewer from iMacTools.com. It is a $40, $39.95, $40 piece of software. If you do this every day, or this is your living, buy this software. It, it'll it pay for itself the first time it's used. Um, two, let's talk about what this software is not. This software is not a forensic software. This software will not look for hidden data, will not do this, will not do that. If you are in that position, that is the time you go with an outside forensic firm that is going to use a Cellbrite. But another funny story, Cellbrites are very limited on what they can get as far as additional messenger applications, i.e. Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger, Snapchat Messenger, TikTok Messenger. What's Discord is another one that people use. Slack, Teams. Just because the application's on the phone doesn't mean that the messages are actually stored on the phone. A lot of times they're stored via a cloud provider. What I've had the best luck of doing is downloading or to going onto a computer, going to like FacebookMessenger.com, which is just Messenger.com. And using a software like Snagit and its scrolling capture features to endlessly scroll up on the Messenger app to capture those photos. Unfortunately, there is not a scrolling capture app for an iPhone. There is plenty of scrolling captures for Androids, but... Speaking just for iPhone, there is not a way to do scrolling captures on the actual phone itself that I know of. So, I mean, can correct me on that? That'd be cool. So, this PDF is almost done. Apparently, my PDF wasn't as PG as I expected because there was a little boy butt in there. Uh, but here's an output of what it looks like. You get emojis. You get dates. You get times, you get pictures. The only thing that you're not going to get with one of these outputs is I remodel. I had to get a crane to take down this tree. We're digging footers, kids playing in the footers. A giant column being supported by an electrical wire. Plumbing, concrete. Framing. Trip to Utah. But wouldn't you want to Bates number this? Wouldn't you want to deal with this over screenshots from somebody's phone? All of this is all listed out. You get all the data. You get these are my kids who send endless emojis to Mimi. Uh, 
but let's say you don't want to have to do the whole text message thread. That's fine. We got a PDF here. We can edit it and do whatever we want now. So we should really use a tool like this if we can. Thank you very much.